So I start with um, FACO modification. This is a combined procedure. You can see that I have uh, 23 gauge trocar cannulas. I usually use 25 gauge or 27 gauge trocar setup. This is a total retinal detachment. And you see here the rupture, which is very centrally located. An oval rupture with um, choroidal atrophy. But the most striking point actually is the attractive component in the macula. So I was, I'm staining the macula with membrane dual from Dork. Here you see the membranes which have to be removed before we can proceed with surgery. So in the left hand I have a Knopf spatula and in the right hand I have an end gripping forceps and uh, I'm trying to grip this membrane And of course the difficult problem here is the difficulty is that the retina is detached. So I need counter pressure and uh, that's why um, I inject a small perfluorocarbon bubble. Here you see it. And now I go under this bubble and try to grab the membrane. The membrane is very adherent, so I need more counter pressure, which means that I add additional perfluorocarbon. I need more counter pressure. Now I'll try again to grab this very adherent membrane with the end gripping forceps and you see that the membrane loosens because there is enough counter pressure. The peeling under perfect claw bone is more difficult than without because um, visualization is worse and because the perfect claw bone presses the membranes onto the retina. So you have no elevated uh, parts of the membrane. So it's a very, very adherent membrane. I'm even using now a light pipe in the left hand to improve visualization of this membrane. Now I can remove a bigger part of the membrane You see this membrane has to be removed if you want to prevent a redetachment. Um, if you do PVR detachments, always start with peeling in the macula and then continue in the periphery. So if you have a PVR detachment, start centrally and continue in the periphery 
This is in contrast to a diabetic tractive detachment. In diabetics, we start in the periphery and then we peel the center. So in diabetes, it's the opposite. We start in the periphery with peeling and then we do the center. You see that the membrane is overall very, very adherent. And we have to go to the um, arcades. Here you see the rupture, which is very centrally. Uh, the attachment was only one week old, but I think I think that the um, um, problems were going on for a much longer time. This is the final part, fluid air exchange, and then laser photocoagulation. Yes, I think that the um, pathology was going on for much longer time um, if you think of these thick membranes. Uh, tamponade silicon oil I'm not using gas because of this detachment, the PVR so for me this is um, preferably a silicon oil tamponade for these eyes Inject first the dye, then try to dissect a small flap of the membrane, then inject perfluorocarbon, and start with the flap and remove finally the membrane. After two months the silicon oil was removed and no reattachment occurred. Thank you very much.